gentlemen. The next team to compete represents the United States of America. Let's welcome Team Miami University. So here they are. They're in fifth. Could they possibly get on the podium? This is their bid for a medal here in Lake Placid. We wish them well. It's uh, Miami University for the USA. Ode to joy, the music. Interesting position from them in the group lift. Really nice collapsing intersection. Very nice spacing. Well done. issues going into the spin. Interesting shape there. They gave it absolutely everything that they had. An unfortunate fall at the end of the pivoting block. 
We'll see how badly that affects them. They did everything they could. They really did, yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't the start they wanted and to, to put the disappointment of that first element behind them and skate a program like they did, I think, is very creditable indeed. A few of the elements, one of those four or five of the elements there being reviewed by the technical panel. The fall will hurt. Of course, they're going to get a one-point deduction there. The grade of execution has to go down for that pivot block element. We'll wait and see how crucial that would be. They, they needed to be clean, didn't they? They did, but they also had quite a bit of a lead over the Hayden Nets, so we'll see what that looks like as well. Yeah, their goal at the end of this, uh, if nothing else, would be to finish ahead of the Hayden Nets. I agree. They should be so proud. As you said, having a fall early on and then recovering from that, skating as hard as they did, that takes a lot of mental toughness. Yeah, they've really shown some resilience here. And, uh, it's a of getting through those elements, aren't they? It doesn't look to be too bad. The, the GOE is still stacking up all the way through on all 10 elements. Looks like they've lost a couple of levels on the technical side of things. We'll have to see how all of that adds up. What I really enjoyed about this team is you could feel them breathing and using their breath to guide their movements. And that is not something you see from every team, but really understanding where movement originates from and being able to see them do that when they're completing all of these complex aspects of their program. It was amazing. Yeah, under intense pressure as well. Completely. I mean, the pressure, you can't even imagine, you can't put it into words, can you, after the brilliant performance from the Haydenettes. So, what do they need? They need 148.26 if they are to go into the lead. Anxious moments. The best score this season is 137.25. They did have that fall at the beginning. How costly will it be? Could it have cost them a place here? Seven. It's second place. It, it's season's best, but that will put them into second place behind the Haydenets. It is an America 1-2 at the moment. The Haydenets leading, and we've got four to go.